This tutorial will show how to use the Fork Edit tool. So the Fork Edit tool is a very broad and diverse tool that you can use in a, um, tons of different ways depending on the project you're doing or the protocol that your institution is following. Um, so I'm going to kind of just go over the basics of how it works, things you can do with it, more in the context of the project that I'm currently doing. So you're going to start here on any specimen page, scroll down to this location section, and hit this edit button right here. And once you're at this page, you can see right here at the top, Fork Edit. So you're just going to click that, and it's going to take you to the Fork Edit page. So as you can see, it automatically filled in a lot of the information that was already in the most the previous event. So this is going to create a new event, but it's going to kind of integrate it with the information that is already available for the specimen. So I'm just going to kind of verify um, the information that is in here with the original specimen card for this specific egg specimen. So for the most part, it looks pretty good. Here in the verbatim date, it just says transcribe directly into formatted date fields. Um, but when I look at the card, I can see that the actual date is listed. So let's see, how is it? It's written like that. So I'm just going to fill that in just because that is going to be more correct based on how it's written verbatim on the card. So otherwise, everything looks pretty good. So you can edit um, almost all of the different types of data that you can have on a specimen. So we've got the specimen event data, the collecting event data, and the locality. Um, through the Fork Edit page, you can even do a georeference. So there's a whole nother um, tutorial on geolocate and georeferencing, um, but it's just going to be right over here, and georeference over here. And it's going to give you all of the information for your georeference. So if you just kind of double check, everything is correct there. At the bottom, there will be a drop down menu on different things that can happen once you hit save. So that's going to kind of depend on what you're doing. For me, I'm going to unaccept the current specimen and add event with these data. And then I'm going to save my changes. OK, just close out of that, refresh the page. And this new um, event is going to be right here and it's got all of the updated information just so that it's more grounded in the truth of what it actually said on the card.